Hi guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk about Lenovo Y720, which is released recently. The specification is i7 7700HQ plus GTX 1060. About the first impression of the laptop, uh, it looks like definitely gaming laptop. And about build quality, it's so nice. Uh, I will accept it. Yeah, it's it's fine to me. About screen is also quite acceptable, but I'm not too sure about other. It depends on the person. But I don't really care about the screen quality, so I can't tell properly because I don't have a checker to uh, to check like brightness or CDI something. Should have a uh, different person if you looking for it. Uh, the about cooling. Oh, it was so nice. Uh, actually, I repasted it with Galaxy Stream on it, and the temperature has shown excellent, excellent result. So, uh, let's see the uh, disassembly and maintenance work. After that, uh, I will talk. I will talk about the fast track result before and after. Then I will tell the verdict. Let's get started. Uh, this is definitely so easy. It's so easy. Just what you should prepare is uh, vessel driver 9900, a uh, course driver. Uh, I will uh, write down uh, the spelling on the description of video, so don't worry about it. Or and you should prepare thermal paste too. Uh, I normally use uh, Get It Extreme. Uh, but if you dislike it, I will recommend to buy uh, Thermal Grizzly Creo Nuts or Outing MX4. Just up to you. Uh, just uh, simply take all the screws out, then just uh, swipe it uh, with plastic card or Hera. Or just up to you. Just I use plastic card for it. Uh, if you look at the heat sink, you can see the sc seven screws to out. But before do that. You should take off the battery cable, definitely. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna get the uh, shock damage. So your laptop will be died. So you, you must take off the battery cable. Otherwise, uh, you will get in trouble, definitely. So take a uh, loosen all the screws uh, on the heat sink, seven of them. But you can't take off them. Just the uh, Loosen it. Uh, so I'm attaching the heat sink on the uh, on the SSD because the NVMe SSD or M2 SSD are uh, suffering high temperature. Uh, you will feel it uh, if you check with the hardware monitor or hardware info. Just uh, you should carefully look at the temperature of the SSD. Otherwise, yeah. The lifetime will be shortened. Yeah, just uh, loosen the seven screws and lift it up. Easy. Uh, you don't have to take off the uh, fan cable. No, definitely not. So you will see the uh, old thermal paste. You should take off all of them. Yeah. On, on the chip and on the heatsink too. Yeah, very easy. Don't worry. It's about seven minutes, you know. Everyone can do that. Just uh, use toilet paper or uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, or nail remover or acetone. Uh, usually, I use toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, just wipe it out. Easy, easy, easy. Definitely. See, fully uh, wipe, wipe out. Uh, and then you don't have to uh, paste your thermal paste on the heat sink just to repaste on the surface of chip that's it easy and also you should wipe the chip too uh, just care careful the, the point is fully clean the surface of chip the, the silver colored one you don't have to do uh, Fully, fully cleaning all of them, uh, like 
just corner something doesn't really matter about it if you can't do that don't do that uh, the laptop wasn't mine so that's why I'm really caring about the wife the thermal paste but don't really about it uh, so that's all yeah, just to care about the surface of chip the silver colored one and repaste your thermal thermal grease on it uh, mine is Galaxy Extreme so it, ha uh, it will be provided a uh, special tool to uh, repaste on it uh, but if you don't have it use like P way or just up to you just uh, you use your own way to do it it doesn't really matter that uh, kind of thing any any way uh, it don't really matter just uh, up to you to paste your compound if you have uh, such as tool you can use a tool Yeah, that's it. That's done. So put it back the heat sink. Ah, uh, you don't have to do because the thermal paste isn't transferable electricity, but it wasn't mine. So that's why I'm wiping out the wasted thermal grease but you don't have to do if that the laptop is mine I won't do that seriously trust me so just so what you do is put it back there so, uh, hissing So yeah, tighten up the screws, uh, but just to place it fully. Yeah, but don't squeeze it yet. Just to uh, place it. So it's tighten up, not fully, just a little, a little. Now uh, it's nearly done. Time to squeeze it fully, as you can, stronger as you can. Powerfully, yeah, stronger. Use the two hands and press it down and squeeze it. You're not gonna break the laptop. Don't worry about it too much. Use my way to do. It's nearly same as changing spare tire, you know. So don't try with with straight way. Like you use a cross way. So that's it. Put it back to the battery cable. Uh, don't forget it. You should do. Yeah, easy. I will skip the video. You don't have to look at the uh, squeezing all the screws. So let's see the five stack reader and verdict. I will skip it. Uh, let's see the result of Fire Strike. The uh, left one is before, right one is after. Uh, the temperature maximum on the CPU is 75, and graphic card is 63. So after that, uh, 69 and 61. And it's definitely amazing result. I didn't expect like that situation because the uh, the laptop has three heat pipe only, about. I think the structure is amazing. I'm not too sure because I'm I'm not drawing person, but yeah, the results 
has shown awesome awesome result so uh, the advantage is cooling system definitely if compared with uh, nearly same price uh, laptop this will be the best uh, I can't guarantee but in my in my opinion this will be the best and the price is cheaper than other uh, in my country it's approximately about one thousand two hundred dollars so yeah, probably cheaper than other I'm not too sure about in your country but yeah, in my country yes and then um, nothing else and about this advantage this the graphic card is optimus so if you are really sensible person and you play overwatch or such as Apple PS game you will see lots of tearing uh, but I can't feel it and the screen size I'm I'm seriously getting complained about the screen size because I expected like they are releasing 17 inches because uh, most mostly uh, game people wants our uh, people wants uh, 17 inches with like 1060 graphic card uh, so I I expected they are releasing re they release uh, 1000 uh, 17 inches but they released it with 15 inches and about the weight is about 3.2 kilogram uh, without adapter it's a bit heavy and Ah, yeah, lastly about touchpad is shit. Yeah, if compared with Y520, touchpad was amazing, uh, but this one is shit. I can't understand uh, in the same seri series getting different quality. It's definitely different one. I can't understand why do they, why did they use different, differently. So, if you take out the laptop and you do, if you use for outside purpose you should definitely take your mice otherwise you will get in trouble uh, but it it wasn't a uh, big big disadvantage I don't really care about it because it, this one is gaming laptop so I strongly recommend it to buy if you don't really matter about uh, Optimus system but if you care about Optimus system you should have a look uh, GT62 VR or GT72 VR uh, from MSI. Uh, this is end of my review today. If you are happy with me, please subscribe or uh, press good on the video, please. And if you have any question, send an email or leave an article anywhere. Uh, if you happy with me, see you next time.